Good evening. And welcome to our midweek Advent service. Glad you could join us for this time as we arise and shine. We thank the Creative Communications for the order of service that we're using tonight. Rising light. And we'll begin with the invocation. We gather tonight in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now we'll have the candle lit. Thanks, huh? We light this first candle of the Advent season in the prophetic celebration of the birth of Jesus, the light of the world. Lord Jesus came to bring us light and life. As we rejoice in Jesus' birth, we also look forward to the day when he will come again. Let us confess our sins to God and to ask God to forgive us. And we pray together. Almighty God, you sent your Son to be our light, but we try to hide from you in the darkness of our sins. Shine the light of your mercy on us and forgive us our sins. How, hear the good news. God sent his Son to be our Savior. Jesus died on the cross and rose from the dead for you. Because Jesus died for you, God forgives you all your sins. Jesus, we want to walk in your light. Let us pray. Lord, as we gather on this night, we thank you that you are the light of the world, that your light shines into the deepest darkness of our hearts and the world. Shine your light on all the world tonight and use us to reflect your light. In your name we pray. Amen. You will find that our Advent worships this year, midweek, will be participatory worships. Um, so we have a call and response um, portion here. So I will say uh, the line and do the actions. And then Pastor Guy, I invite you to follow him as he repeats it um, with you. So. Yes, and if you don't repeat the actions, the ushers will bring you downstairs. <laughs> So again, we ask you to participate and join us in prayer. When God first made the world, when God first made the world, there was no day or night. There was no day or night. God spoke into the empty space. Then God spoke into the empty space. And said, let there be light. Let there be light. But people sinned against the Lord. They sinned against the Lord. And hid from him in fright. And they hid from God in fright. So to the world, God sent his son. So God sent his son. Who said, I am the light. Jesus said, I am the light. We're going to sing, Arise, Your Light Has Come.
Old Testament, this reading this evening comes from the book of Isaiah, chapter 60, verses 1 and 2. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord rises upon you. See, the darkness covers the earth, and thick darkness is over the people. But the Lord rises upon you, and his glory appears over you. Here ends the lesson. Arise, shine, your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. For behold, the darkness that covers the earth, but the Lord will arise on you, and his glory will be seen upon you. The gospel reading comes from Luke chapter 1. Verses 7, 78 through 79. Because of the tender mercy of our God, by which the rising sun will come to us from heaven to shine on those living in darkness and in the shadow of death to guide our feet into the path of peace. The sun shall rise, visit us from on high to give light to those who sit in darkness and in the shadow of death to guide our feet into a way of peace. Hey kids, how do you like to be in the dark? I don't like it. That's why I brought this friendly little candle with. Wait a minute, you always have a backup. That's why I brought my candle, just in case we got in the dark because This one little candle, I bet all of you can see it, right? And if you were 200 yards away, you'd see it. One little light, just like the northern light in the sky, has guided thousands of people safely home. Let there be light. That's what God said, let there be light. And there was light. And in the darkness of the world of sin and evil and Shame and guilt, God sent the light of the world. You know who that is? Jesus, who said, I am the light of the world who scatters the darkness, and the darkness cannot overcome that light. You guys ever heard of Plato? Not the clay, that's Plato. Plato, the philosopher? Yeah. He lived about four centuries before Christ, one of the most famous philosophers from Greece. And he tells a story about people being in a cave. You ever been in a cave? That's dark, right? That can be really dark. And he tells a story about these guys in a cave. 
And every time they try to go out, they get to the end of the cave, and then they see shadows. And they, they look like giants. They're afraid. You know whose shadows they are? Their own. And they were so afraid because those shadows looked like giants. Finally, one guy was so tired of being in the dark, he decided to go right through that shadow. And guess what? He was in the light of the day. We live with shadows. It's called sin. It's called self-doubt. It's called failures, where we feel like we can't move on beyond those things. That's why God sent Jesus into the world, to be the light of the world. In fact, somebody even wrote a book, Bill Miller wrote a book called Making Friends with Your Shadow, because we all have a dark side, don't we? like Darth Vader. How many saw Star Wars? <laughs> Actually, he started out as a pretty good guy and ended up coming back to the, to the light, just like God wants each of you and me and all the world not to think that that shadow or dark side is all there is. God says, I make everything new. In fact, the Bible says, if anyone is in Christ, there is a new creature because God's light has shined upon us. Amy Grant wrote a beautiful song based on the Psalm 118. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. She says, I will not forget your love for me and yet still my heart is wandering. Nothing will I fear as long as you are near. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet a light unto my path. And you know who that word is? Jesus. John says, the word became flesh and dwelt among us, and the light of Jesus shines on everyone for us to see. So tonight, O oh Lord, as we arise and shine, thank you that you shine on us with your amazing love and grace and call us to let our light shine before others. Amen. Can you say amen? Amen. amen? amen. If you did bring an offering tonight, we do have a plate in the back. Or for those tuning in online, we have online giving. But we also come to offer our very selves to God. When God calls us to be an offering, we offer our time, our gifts, our love. And so we're going to do a little offertory prayer. Again, Wendy, tell us how we're going to do it. Mm -hmm. So again, our offertory prayer will be a call and response with action. So I will give you the call and then you will respond in kind with Pastor Guy. Please join me in prayer. Our offerings we bring to you. Our offerings we bring to you. Our words of love and actions too. Our words of love and actions too. Use these gifts Dear Lord, we pray. Use these gifts, dear Lord, we pray. To share with people every day. To share with people every day. News of great joy for all the earth. News of great joy for all the earth. Of Jesus Christ, our Savior's birth. Of Jesus Christ, our Savior's birth. We're going to sing about the Savior's birth, Away in a Manger.
Before our closing prayers, Wendy's going to tell us about some craft stuff. Here you go. Oh, there's a mic there. There we go. Um, so we don't have many young children and families here tonight. So if you have a neighbor, if you have a grandchild, if you have someone that you would like to take these activities to, as we're in the season of Advent, preparing our hearts and homes for the coming of the Christ child, I would invite you to do that. When you leave the sanctuary, um, the supplies will be to your left at the bottom of the stairs. And I'll just give a couple of quick explanations. There are... A packet, there's a packet with four sheets um, that has 24 verses from the Christmas story. So it's an Advent calendar that then each day after you read um, your scripture verse, you can tape or staple it and then continue until you have all 24 and then use this as a decoration on your tree or in your house. Um, a very simple way for us daily to remember what the season is all about. And then related to tonight's lesson from our Rise and Shine series, um, there's a simple um, Advent wreath craft uh, with beads and pipe cleaners. Couldn't be more simple. So these are bagged up in little baggies. Um, some of the baggies have enough craft supplies to make two Advent wreaths. Um, others just have one. So if you're taking it for a family of three children, make sure and grab a bag for two and a bag for one. Um, instructions are clearly in there. Uh, so again, just a, a quick little craft that you can do to have a reminder somewhere in your home about the season of Advent. Yes, and we, uh, we also want to find out uh, some of the favorite Christmas songs. We're not going to sing them all tonight, but through the Advent season, we'd like to honor some of your favorites. So do you have a favorite Christmas song? Shout it out. <laughs> Silent Night. Mary, write that one down. Jingle Bells. Jingle Bells. We could probably do that caroling. Joy to the world, another great one. Rudolph. Rudolph. We'll do that, Caroline. And we're going to do that about mid-December, so let us pray. And tonight, we, of course, we pray for all God's people, especially those crying out in their uh, sadness and hunger and, and famine and those living uh, as homeless people, refugees, those caught up with deadly diseases, and, and let's lift them up. And Lord, we thank you for your light shining on us, that we might shine on others. Pray for those that are hurting tonight, that have lost loved ones, those facing uh, deadly diseases. Continue to be with all of us in this pandemic and healthcare workers trying to bring healing and health, and each of us doing our daily part. Also, bless our church. Your church here and throughout the world, especially tonight where there's oppression and persecution. Pray for those caught up in war and strife and violence. Pray for the homeless, for refugees, for all those seeking shelter from the storm. And use us, O oh Lord, to share the gifts you've given us so others might be fed, might be clothed, and might be given shelter. Bless our confirmation class tonight, our young people who have come to learn about you, your will for our lives, and how we can be good servants to serve you and others in Jesus' name, who taught us to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The prophet Isaiah said, Arise, shine, for your light has come.
So God who sent his son to be our light, God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, shine in your hearts, and may he bless you and keep you in his care now and forever. Amen. Our closing song, O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. Thanks to Mary Camrath for playing tonight. Thanks to Rick and Kathy Bowers for getting us on the live stream. And we want to say welcome to those that uh, tuned in tonight through the live stream. Glad you could join us. We meet every Wednesday night, 6.30, for the midweek Advent services. Glad you could join us. And one of the projects our confirmands are doing tonight, you might want to be aware of this. They're going to be coloring bags that will carry gifts to a number of our people who are jailed in Barron County, just to, just to give a little lift. And I know last year, some of those people that were in jail sent some big thank yous just to let people know how much it meant to them to be thought of while they were in jail. So God bless you kids for helping with that. We go in peace to serve the Lord.